Well, they have no home because of a thief. This is a story new at 11. We're talking about cats in a Norfolk neighborhood. That's right, someone stole their house. People in the neighborhood contacted 10 on your side for they know it was, it was gone last week. And here's what's different about it. It's a house for feral cats. Erin Kelly is here tonight to explain what she found out. What's going on here? Well, Tom, this was a wooden feeding house for a cat colony in the Chelsea neighborhood of Norfolk. It's been there about six years, right by a row of restaurants. And a woman who helps manage it says she doesn't know why someone would take it. The feral cat colony across the street from Tortilla West Restaurant in Norfolk has had several names over the years. Tortilla East, Tortilla More West. The cats are well known at local businesses. Everybody at the bakehouse, including the owner, has no problem whatsoever with the cats. Uh, in fact, we kind of like having them around. Karen Lauterbach, who has volunteered to help trap, neuter, or spay and release the cats from the colony in a process called TNR, says a wooden feeding house has served an important purpose since someone built it around seven years ago. And placed there uh, to keep the food drier for the cats, but also kind of curb appeal for the presence of the cats. The structure had a mailbox and sometimes I would find donations inside. One time the cats got a Christmas card from someone. Louderback says she learned someone recently brought a complaint about the house to animal control. Before she could address it, she says she found the house was gone. In the meantime, someone else brought new houses out there. There are going to be people watching this saying, why does this matter? Feral cats are a nuisance. What do you say to those people? Well, that's why I say it's important because this is reducing the number of those nuisance cats just in a humane way. I don't like to see this as a war of cat lovers versus cat haters. I just, I, I wish people could understand that this really is a middle ground compromise. And Norfolk police told me animal control has received many complaints about the cat colony over the years, but it's never gotten to the point that they felt they needed to remove the house. They also didn't have specifics on the latest complaint. They say they did not remove the house and they don't know who did. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side. And Norfolk police tell us the cat colony house was on public property.